So in this video, I want to take a look at updating the firmware on the 121 GW meter. Uh, there was a comment on a, a previous video about my auto ranging issues in the resistance video may have been due to firmware. I don't really know. I've not taken the uh, rubber case off the unit yet. I haven't dug that deep. I'm sure it comes off. And I'm sure there's a proper way to do it and the way I'm going to do it. So, wow, that is really tight. Looks to me like the bail. Here we go. Looks like that was the way to do it. Pull the bail up and then just push it out. And of course, there's a picture of Dave molded inside. Looks like that bail would be very easy to replace if I broke it. That's a good thing. And someplace on here is an SD card slot, and I honestly don't know where. Uh, looks to me like it's not externally accessible. I would expect that for explosion proofing and high voltage getting through to something you can touch with your finger, etc. So that seems absolutely perfectly acceptable uh, for safety reasons. Let's go ahead and back these screws out. takes to pop the back case off here. Well, it kind of felt like it started to come off. Again, I've not looked at any form entries or videos. Are those captive screws? Those feel like they're captive screws. That's very nice. So hopefully I'm not about to break something. It's just very tight fit, which again is a really good thing. Uh, really good thing. They are captive screws. They go into brass inserts. Very nice attention to detail. That must be the SD card right there. And it is. It actually came with Duracell batteries. Uh, nice touch. Uh, I like that as well. Yeah, the SD card here is sitting next to the two fuses. So what does it take to get it out? Just pull it out. Just pull it out. It's an 8 gigabyte card. That's very nice. Oh, excuse me. So my next understanding here, based on the instructions, now that we figured out how to get inside, is turn it off, insert the SD card with the latest EEB blog firmware. Oh, geez, and follow the instructions here. Sorry, I haven't had enough coffee yet this morning. Anyhow, I'll go get that image on this card, and when we come back here in a second, we'll see how the process works. So trying to find a spot on my bench where the glare on the screen isn't overwhelming has been difficult. I've actually lost a couple of videos already where you just couldn't see the LCD. It looks like this will be a good position here. I've copied the firmware, so it's the version 2 firmware, down from the uh, EEV blog site, and I have it on the SD card. I'll go ahead and reinsert it. And if we just turn the meter on, we should see that I'm on version 1.57 that again. Version 1.57. And so we want to hold down the hold and mem buttons. So these two. Slide this over a bit. And hopefully, well, let me take a look at the camera and make sure we don't I just have a screen full of glare there and we don't. So we're going to hold down the hold and mem buttons and then switch, switch on the meter. Hold and mem switch it on and we get IAP appears on the screen. From there we then want to go to setup. Once you're ready to begin the upgrade process, press setup again to begin. I think that's down, D-O-W-N, download new firmware. I press setup again. I, that looked like version 2.0. Let's bring the power up. Yep, version 2.00. So very nice, very simple process there, as you would expect. Uh, very typical. So very nice, very happy with that. That was seamless. Uh, this is the first time I've looked inside of the meter. Uh, it looks really nice. It is, you know, this has been talked about, very solid. Uh, 
we have upgraded firmware. So, anyway, this is going to be a very short video. Uh, you see things around here like uh, the raised lip here that seals around the batteries. This is all for one of these fuses explodes inside. You don't get flames shooting out in a volatile environment. You create a larger explosion. You want everything contained inside of the case. That's the reason the SD card is hidden away. There's no external access to it. Uh, you know, it's, it's important to get the kind of ratings. You know, this has got a CAT3 600 volt rating. Those, those details become important in the very tight fitting case as well. Again, it's all about safety. So let's see if I can get this to line back up. And go in. I'm sure it lines up someplace. Like so. Button it back up here. Thank you, Dave and David. That was a very nice, simple upgrade. Very happy with it. I think we just pop it back in the case, whatever direction you do that from. Get it seated back down in, and perfect. Well, I'll wrap this video segment up here, nice and short. And we'll talk soon.